Um, so recording recording has begun. So I want to officially welcome everyone January 10th, 2023. So this is our second meeting of the new year. So um, Bona Ano Nuova. <laughs> And uh, let's see, I see Salva Folletti is, is joining us from hi, Ireland. Nick. It's a, hi, Nick. It's Buon Anno Nuovo, by the way. Buon Anno Nuovo. Buon Anno Nuovo. Sorry, I had okay. problem with my video. I'll start the video in a few minutes. Sorry. OK, okay. that's fine. And I want to welcome back Mary Betancourt. So I think Mary and Margie are, are almost neighbors. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in Norwalk, California, just on the uh, LA Orange County border. Oh, so. so you're seeing all this rain as well. <laughs> yes, draining my pool as we speak. Yeah, we're yeah. planning to be there from January 20th through February 1st, just in time for California to wash off into the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> it should dry out. Are you yeah, well, it sounded like it was moving down towards you folks. Uh, our friends in Monterey are have really been getting a rough time. It rained pretty hard here this morning. And like I said, my husband drained three inches out of our pool and it's filling up again. <laughs> so it's a lot of rain for us. Mm -hmm. That's good for the land. And most of it goes to the ocean, unfortunately. Okay, it's fine. So we could save it. That would be great. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's true. So Margie, my, my grandmother was on 10th in Williams in Omaha. So very close. Very close. I'm sure my parents are, I have three older brothers. Um, so the gap between my youngest brother and me is six years. So they would have a really long history of who they know and things. So I could always circle back to them. Um, but they went to St. Saint, Saint Francis Cabrini. Yes as did a lot of my cousins. Well, they're too young to remember my uncle. He was a pastor at St. Francis Cabrini. Your name sounds so familiar. I have a feeling my mother talked about your family. Ciao tutti. Ciao Santana, Ciao. Ciao. So I'm sorry I'm late. I had, you know, my brother came over to drop off a computer he called a little bit ago. But uh, I, uh, just listening to the last two ladies, <laughs> and I think I know Mary from before, yes. and Margie, what is your maiden name? Galizia. Galizia. Okay, well, well that's... Um, Silvana, Margie is de Galizia, anche lei di Omaha, però si è in California. Yeah. Ed è vicina di casa di Mary Betancourt, che ha subito detto tu ti sei sposata con mio cugino e ha beccato tutto nome e cognome, quindi si conoscono. A uh, Carlentini di Gulizia c'è il dentista dove vado io. Esatto. Uh, yeah, 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 Carlentini, there is a famous, yeah, 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 famous Gulizia uh, who is the dentist. Oh, oh that was the Bell and Gary in our neighborhood. Parliamo di Carlentini. But uh, Mary, my grandmother, when I was growing up, she lived at 807 Williams. And her last, their last name was uh, Castro. And I don't know if you know any of the Castros. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably have to my ask my older cousin who lives in Omaha. See, I'm in California, so I was just the summer visitor. <laughs> OK. And what was your <laughs> summer name? visitor? And what was your Italian name? Monaco. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you related to Charlie? Yes. Okay. I knew Charlie. He passed away. This is uh, the guy who was like uh, 90 some years old when he passed My away. My uncle. My yeah. uncle. 
Yeah, I knew him the last few years of his life. He's been gone for about 10 years now, I yes. think. Yes. But uh, he was a good guy. I, I, When I saw some of his stuff when I was looking up the records on, and it was like, this guy was actually born in Carlantini. See, I, di I didn't know that. And he came over on the boat. And then I think, I think he actually went back and got a bride from Carlantini and brought her back. And that was his first wife. And then the second wife, after the first one passed away, he married somebody else. And then yeah. late, then after he retired, and for many years after that, he, he was up in uh, the St. Joe Villa, which is yes. uh, a retirement community where he uh, uh, did a lot of uh, uh, visiting and uh, volunteer work over there. So Yes. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. That's my uncle Charlie. That's for sure. He's a good guy. Good guy. Yeah. So uh, the corporals, um, the remember back, people. I want to get back to Margie in a little bit, but I'd like to start off today uh, with Trish Coat, and Trish is going to tell us a little bit about a spreadsheet that she has developed for transcribing the cemetery registers. Oh. And uh, Trish, are you prepared to do that at this point? Or would you like me to show the, the spreadsheet? Yeah, um, can you share your screen uh, to show the spreadsheet? It would just be easier for me. I'm on my phone. OK, sure. Um, Stiamo andando, Trish, che ha fatto delle ricerche sulle trascrizioni before. del cimitero, delle date, well, e ha trovato delle cose interessanti. Let me take a second. Margie, sometimes I go in Italian because there are some people connected from Carlentini. I'm in Sicily as well. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Eleonora, if you could translate for me. It's, um, I can translate myself, but I, it's hard to jump back and forth between English and Italian. Yeah, of course. Thank Did you. I say something in Italian that I never said in English? Not, not, not yet. OK, sometimes okay. it happens. I'll let you know. <laughs> yes. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, here right, we go. So this this is the spreadsheet. And um, let me also pull up the registers. Mm -hmm. Um, so while he's pulling that up, I can tell you um I downloaded the images uh, from the folder that uh I think a few of us um, have access to those. To those. Yeah, OK. Yeah. OK. And uh, I uploaded, I uploaded um, a PDF document that from those images. Um, all the pages are in the proper order. So I thought that might be easier might for some people. Uh, look inside the folder that says uh, cemetery registries. Here we go. Mm. These are the these are the actual JPEG images. Uh -huh. um, is it is this still the one that I took the pictures? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have uh, a, a I question. Believe there's, I, okay. I believe there's a um, a PDF that will be easier to look at. Okay. Yeah. Before we finish this Zoom. I need a question for you, um, a request, and I want to, to know what do you think? Okay. Talking uh, about registers, yeah. Go ahead and tell. Oh, it's something very easy. There is a lady who is coming in it's March. It's an error, Eleonora, it's an error. Where? It's written pulisi and pulisi. Silvana saw a mistake. There is written Pulisi double L rather than Pulisi with the G L somewhere. Yes. yes. Um, I will tell you uh, that as I'm transcribing, um, I write down uh, exactly as I see the handwriting in the register. So there could be spelling mistakes. Okay. Um, okay. Il concetto di Pugliese, sì. Pugliese, sono esatto. No, um, eh? diceva Trish, eh, 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 effettivamente, c'è un errore. 
È vero. È sì, vero Trish vero. stava dicendo che lei ha trascritto così come è scritto e quindi ah, questo ci dice che ci sono talvolta degli errori di, errore. di scrittura. Non è colpa mia. Sì, infatti. <ride> Hai ragione. <ride> Okay, so what, uh, what I think is really cool about this oh, is that, that she has um, transcribed the actual uh, ledger or register column headings, mm -hmm. but then she also, so if you look at this, See where it says cognome, nome, e per paternità. paternità. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and you see it's Bonafetti Lucia, Latina yeah. Nunziata. And um, then under Stato Civili is where the um, cemetery uh, attendant or clerk. Mm -hmm. says, uh, between parentheses, it says, celibe, ovvero marito o moglie, vedovo o vedova di. So, yeah. not married or widow, um, husband or wife of. Yes. So, so uh, the, clerk, the clerk at the cemetery never followed the original. Uh, <laughs> In effetti non c'è scritto, c'è scritto il nome del padre, ci dovrebbe essere scritto un'altra cosa. Esatto, il primo ha fatto un mistake e ha già a monte, è a monte le cose. Ma forse è solo questo. Lui era capace di leggere. Lui era capace di leggere. Solo per leggere. Dove dice che la colonna è usata per listare il padre e la madre quando è supposto essere il status marital. Corretto, corretto. Yeah, so, so I made a comment uh, whenever I found something like that. Um, first, I listed the headings as they are in the book, and I translated those into English. And then if he used the book in some other way, I made a comment about that. Mm. So other people who contribute to this book will be able to follow that. Okay. Um, so... I did the first four pages, which is the year 1902. I just wanted to test it out and see if I could um, get through one year and then. If she saw another mistake and then probably, I mean, not probably, they were already written in a, in a wrong way in the register itself. Right, yeah. I'm careful about how I copy. I mean, his um, handwriting is pretty easy to follow, um, mm -hmm. thankfully, but no, it's not perfect. I think we are producing the highest number of, uh, of a digitalized culture of uh, our modern history. Boy, I hope so. I think so. <laughs> um, in uh, my request is there is a lady who is coming in Carlentini for a month in, okay. in March. And she said, Eleonora, I'm willing to help. Anything you need, just let me know. I have zero activities booked. I, I'm coming just to leave the culture and stay there. So if there is anything that can be helpful, hmm. just ask me. So you think about it, all of you. I was wondering, maybe keep going. Allora, Eleonora, qui lei ha messo, scusami se ti interrompo, mm -hmm. qui lei ha messo un punto interrogativo, però bisogno sì. è giusto. Mentre Pasqua sì. è con la Q come quadro. Uh -huh. Bitollo so, è un cognome che... Ivana, she's saying that they were, there is written Bitollo, um, that's correct. That, that's a family name in Carlentini. Okay. While Pasqua should be written with a Q rather than a C. Ah, okay. Which significa Easter. Easter. Right. Pasqua. Sì. Sì. So Eleonora, this is my... Am I? 
Yep. My really cousin cool. knows. Yep. Uh, in which way? Are, are you talking about to Bitolo, this one that we read? Pasqua is my great, great, great grandmother. Have you said to Bayada and get we and get west? Yeah. As you can see here, it is written <laughs> with a C. <laughs> oh, so yeah, with Trish, the Gibilisco. <laughs> Trish has tried to stay as close to the original. Uh, as possible. So you will find those kinds of spelling errors yeah, for some true. reason. It's written in a wrong way over there, Pasqua. Yeah. This is one of the most common uh, mistakes uh, in uh, Italian as well. Still mm -hmm. kids, they they write it wrong. Why yeah. is Lucia Bonafede's name crossed out at the top? That's a good question. I, I don't Pane. know. She, there, she, maybe she wasn't buried. Uh, or maybe she was exhumed and moved to another plot. Uh, there's no oh. note attached to her oh, name. Or maybe they were wrong. <laughs> I mean, she passed away, she came back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I we could, we could write a lot of stories around those things. <laughs> It's possible that she belongs <laughs> in the prior year or something like that. She is the founder of Santa Lucia. She was my third great aunt. Well, the the Lucia Bonafede Canelia who founded the Santa Lucia festival in Omaha is buried in Omaha yeah and she died in the I think 1927 or 19 in late 20s early 30s I have to remember mm -hmm. do you know if she was born in Carlentini yes yes so she's part Nick she's part of those uh 1260 people who were born in Carlentini and died and buried in Omaha mm -hmm. okay uh, what what uh, Eleonora is referring to is I gave her some stats from finding Yeah, um, I have those numbers pretty fresh in my head. Um, and, uh, so scrivendo un articolo, o meglio, c'è una giornalista che sta scrivendo un articolo e gli sto dando delle informazioni. Uh, there is a journalist, she's writing an article about um, our connection, uh, Carlentini in Omaha, in the sister city, and uh, in the questions, uh, there are interesting ones um, that she asked me about uh, people in Omaha, what makes uh, that city special. And she asked me to give her some name. So who else uh, that better than Nick can help? So I asked him and he gave me a beautiful list of all the names. I hope they, I mean, maybe they can be more than, but I'm sure that list is pretty correct. Uh, according to the number of the families. So the, the most, um, let's say, numerous families with, uh, with uh, the same uh, um, family name, let's say. We can say. We can say number of families. It's not just the members of the family, but it's the numbers of the families. It's the Canilia. Mm -hmm. There are, there are 128 families, Canelia. I can send you this list. And then Greco, 95, Salerno, 83 families, Vacanti, 77, Grasso, 76, Gibilisco, 72. Then we go, yeah, woo, woo, woo. We go like, <laughs> we go Stanzo, 65, Circo, 63, Piccolo, 61, Amato, 60, and so on. Negro, 58, 58, Marino, 56, Castro, 54, Turco, 54, Mary Kay, hey, hey, Incontro, 51, Mangiamelli. Uh, Nanfito, Scalzo, Nocita, Pace, Di Stefano, Catania, Sortino, there's so many. And the, for each one of them, well, I'm very disappointed that the, the last one is Formica with four. <laughs> <laughs> so we are rare, as you can see. <laughs> Where yeah. the fellows? I mean, those are families who moved to Omaha. Yeah. So I'm giving them this is, a... This is surnames. Um, 
I did a surname search on people who were buried in Omaha. And mm -hmm. uh, so these are the numbers that were generated from that surname search. Oh, that's not complete because my gratuitous are not on there. Well, um, some of them were less than five, so I left them off the list. But right. um, Gertulo, is that what you were asking about? Yeah, yeah. Gertrude, you are. Yeah. Yes. I've seen that name before. G-U-R-C-I-U-L-L-O. -L -L oh. hmm. Yeah, and I can guarantee you that on Find a Grave, uh, it doesn't necessarily list the birthplace for all of the people buried in Omaha um, who are Italian or, or otherwise. Uh, so it's it's always being updated. So one of the things you can do is if you if you just scroll down uh, for any of your um, memorials, and if you want to see all the Gertulos in Omaha, you just click here. And it'll tell you there's 18 matching records. So for whatever reason, I missed Gertulo, I guess. <laughs> Let me see. Where's where's number 18? Well, not all of them were born in born in, in Italy, though. Well, I didn't do that. I didn't do that list based on born in Italy. I just did that based on the surname itself. And so you're going to have some women, of course, who are have the surname but are not really mm -hmm. Sapienzas or Chichulas. So, um, but it, it was just kind of a way to come up with some sort of an indication of how um, extensive the family name was in Omaha. And so, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. There's, there's <laughs> lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, Ci so let's. Bugia, uh, bugia statistica, detto, Nick. <laughs> Trish, um, anything yeah. you want to say in summary about the spreadsheet? Yeah, um, I would like other volunteers besides myself to continue to add names from the images. Um, so uh, Nick, can you scroll down the page um, past the point where I have the text transcribed? So on the left-hand side, you can see that I put page numbers um, and those are gonna correspond to the PDF document page numbers. That way, um, if a volunteer wants to uh, start transcribing themselves, they can just go to that page number and just add in the text exactly as they see it on the page. Um, so I did it that way so that we wouldn't get confused. Trish sta chiedendo se qualcuno vuole aiutarla per trascrivere queste cose, e cominciando dal numero della pagina e poi pian piano tutte le altre colonne. So I guess the thing with here is if anybody wants to volunteer to do this, let me know and I will share the uh, well, County can, Cemetery can, uh, Google Drive with you. Can can I make a suggestion? Sure. Because I've already done a lot of this work, taking it from the registries themselves, and and I started cross-referencing the stuff that was in the spreadsheet with uh, the stuff I have in my database. Mm. So, I don't, you know, and uh, it's for. You know, and, and I think Nick knows this, that, uh, you know, uh, if you do a search on, on my, my tree surface and put in a, a year, you will get a list of all the people that have died in that year in Carlantini or whatever. You have to put in the appropriate search request. Right. But, uh, but in uh, Ancestry, you know, a lot of this stuff is already there and it's just validating information or whatever. Mm -hmm. so. Allora, Jim sta dando dei consigli a Trish. Trish, I would like to ask you, those info, are they going on 
find a grave or family search ancestry.com as well uh nick and i had talked about that uploading this uh a list to find a grave we would have to change it to the format that find a grave wants for spreadsheets for, um, okay to ameliorate the website find a grave right right um, okay i also want to check this list against um the other like resources as well and i haven't really done that i i was mainly just transcribing well if you want to uh, come back again you will can... be more than welcome <laughs> I think we can uh, pull the information from this spreadsheet and put it into the find a grave format really easily. Okay. Um, the one thing that we might want to do, though, I think kind of what Jim was alluding to is add the actual death date if we can if we can locate it. Um, yeah, um, that's one important thing is that this book does not contain the date of death. Um, it's only concerned with burial. That's what I noticed too. Was that's all it all it did was it just put in the death, uh, the burial, but it didn't include the date of death. And I think some of the earlier stuff that Eleonora had copied down, not from uh, the cemetery, but over in the city hall was uh, actually had a lot more information in it that included uh, birth and death and, and parents and all the rest of that stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So, well, okay. it should be possible to find the same people because it does list their parents. All right. Okay, if this topic is, is done, I have another idea while you were talking. Okay. Uh, talking about volunteering, this is extended to do everybody else i've noticed that uh, on wiki the page describing omaha in italian is very poor there are just a four or five sentences for every single topic like geography for lines and the same carlentini in english so if there is someone who is willing to help but this will take quite less time than describing those uh, tough <laughs> Jeroglyphics, so Trisha Chapeau for that. Um, I will be more than happy to help in Italian. And if someone can help me to be written in a proper, very high level English, so we can ameliorate our faces online, Wiki is for free. So I'm using all the books that um, Mary Kay gave to me. This is very interesting, obviously, about Carlentini. I have material as well. This is our um, main book. We call it uh, the sound. Some of you, you have it. See, where there is a, the whole history. Obviously, this is too much, but seeing that I'm select, selecting info for this article, uh, I would like to do it in an American way with numbers and statistics, statistics as well. And even for Yay. Omaha, there are websites that are very well done. For example, so Omaha, I don't know if you knew it, has um, uh, some mic is open. Um, as a very young population, 30% uh, of the population is uh, around 25 years old. So it's a very young city. And those things, those info, they don't come in on, on online or the uh, technology and financial uh, 90, um, 90 uh, can I say movement made with the bankomat in the banks in New York City, 90 upon 100 are uh, organized in, in Omaha. So all the banks and the insurances, they have the main uh, uh, base over there. So I try to collect all the info that I know that I have in my head, trying to give a, a better um, business card online that is uh, the wiki page that is the easiest uh, and most famous. So if some of you has material, I'm just uh, not writing down, you can share it with me, please, and I can work on it. I'm willing to help if you if you want to shoot me any any of the information that you have. See, 
per migliorare la pagina Wikipedia sia di Carlentini in inglese sia di Omaha in italiano perché sono molto sterili e quindi c'è pochissimo e può essere fatto molto meglio. Even pictures, actually. I, um, Mary Kay gave me this uh, book uh, with pictures. They are, they are beautiful. There is even the Nanfito uh, Carretto. The, I think that belonged to Carmelita della Guardia's family. Maybe some of you have seen this one. Well, I will try to take pictures of those as well and, uh, and say what they talk about. That book still in print? Yeah. No, Nick, they, I tried to order a new one and they, I thought the, that's something the World Herald, the newspaper published. That's but mine. I can, I can find one. <laughs> I can go back to the library cell and get them. And people, a lot of people have them around town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having one. If, I don't know, maybe. And then I'll... before the end, if now we wanted to give some space to some family tree, Obviously, we can go ahead. And before we end our meeting, I send Nick uh, the most important info about this one that is very nice as well. It talks about uh, all the all the um, cultures in, in uh, Omaha, the Jewish, the Chinese, the Germans, uh, uh, the Irish, obviously, the Croats, the British, the Czechs, the Greeks. Romanians, African Americans, Lithuanians. So very interesting. And there is a chapter obviously dedicated to Italians. C'è un capitolo dedicato agli italiani in quello là che parla di tutte le nazionalità di Omaha. Ed è fatto molto bene. Parla di Carlentini molto bene. Parla di Santa Lucia. It talks very well about Carlentini, Santa Lucia. It's very well done. Oh, can I interrupt for a minute? Okay, I just went out to eBay and there's Omaha, those Omaha books, some of them are out there. Can I share my screen? Ah, interesting, sì, sì. Bob li ha trovati su eBay, second hand, because they Can don't print this? them anymore. And the second hand? Eh, sì. Can you see the Perché... screen? Perché, sì. Sì. Questo... Questo di tutte le, di tutte le so nazionalità. What, okay. what search terms did you use on eBay? I just Sorry, did, uh, I Omaha want book. to interrupt. Omaha book? Yeah, I mean, are you seeing my screen or not? Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, because there's two right there. That, I don't know if there's probably, there's another one. Mm -hmm. So well, let me unshare my screen. Um, Stop share. Okay. So you might go to eBay and look. Okay. Um, oh, there you go. I wanted to get back to, to Margie since she's the new kid on the block. And um, so Margie, I'm going to ask you a series of questions and I'm going to try to um, connect with your family tree. And okay. uh, so I have, I have a tree called Italians of Omaha, Carlantini and beyond. And so the first thing I wanna do is check my tree to see if your grandfather is in the tree. He so is not. What is, did I share the tree with you? Uh, yeah, I do see the tree, uh, Giuseppe Vacanti, and I, I don't see anybody on there that looks familiar no, to no, me. No, no, no. What is, what is your grandfather's name? Sebastiano. Galizia. G-U-L-I-Z-I-A. Yep. He's a very common name in our tree. <laughs> <laughs> so here's one that's Sebastiano Giuseppe. Yes, um, that's him. Uh, he passed away in 1976. And his parents were Giuseppe and Lucia Zito? Yes. Yeah. Is that 
correct as far as you know? That is, yes, that is correct. Okay, so let's let's see. Um, the and other his wife was Alfia. His correct. wife was Alfia. Okay, I got him. Okay, so the Jim Beckman is uh, the person who was talking there. And uh, I have a quick link to his tree. And so, um, how do you have him, Jim? What's what's his name in your while, tree? While they are looking for, I introduce you the crew, Margie. So Nick is our responsible, Jim and Dean, they are excellent helpers and they have different methods, but they have helped a lot and we consider Jim's family tree our mother tree because he has um, thousands of people. I, I, I don't know how many he updated recently, but almost 60,000, I don't know. Uh, and then we have Nick Giblisco who is the responsible for the um, dual citizenships. And then, uh, well, so if you go to Omaha, you should ask to Marianne Sofayo to help because she's a guide over there. And then Mary Kay, she's uh, the co-responsible uh, of our genealogical uh, Zoom meetings. She records, and I don't want to forget anybody, but uh, you are all important for me. <laughs> and then from Sicily, it's gonna be me, uh, Silvana. Salvo, he speaks so perfectly English and he's uh, in Dublin. Uh, but uh, he was born in Carlentini, moved there. So his father um, worked uh, at the main official anagrafe in Sato Civile in Carlentini for almost 40 years. So having him with us, sometimes we don't find something. He goes texting to his father and uh, he gives us the numbers going Carlentini, Dublin, <laughs> Dublin, United States. Um, and then uh, the family here is big. Uh, Trish is in Omaha, Kim close to Colorado, right? Are you in Colorado? Yeah. Am I forgetting someone? Monica, Chris, Donna, Gary, they are all in, in, in Omaha, right? And then Sue, she is Chicago. Where are you now? In Florida, where are you? Florida. <laughs> she moves a lot and then Jeremy, she... He is um, Texas, correct? Juicy, Abedamia, she's in Ciao. Rome. From <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was having dinner out, so I mean, now I'm back home. Oh, I can say from your <laughs> outfit, look at you, whoa. <laughs> and then Sherry, she's in Omaha as well, one of the co-founder of uh, the Carlentini Omaha Association and Sicula Italia Foundation. So I wanna, okay, that's the team. Squeezed. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now it has been almost two years that we have gathered, even more than two years. And we have updated more than 200 family trees. And we are helping people coming to Sicily as well. Having, I'm a tour guide, that's my main job. So I help uh, um, having customers custom tours and for example earlier before starting I was talking with Sue she's coming in May Susan Finlay and um, she already knows some relatives so I know them so we will go straight to the point but I'm sure she wants to meet somebody else while the majority of the group that you see here they have been in Carlentini Last year, we had a, a group, a, a delegation of 120 uh, coming from Omaha. And one of them was uh, the mayor as well, Mayor Sutter. So uh, welcoming the family. Channel so channel. I, um, let's go back to, uh, I was just gonna let, uh, Sherry, know that I messaged Ms. Heim, Danette. Oh, Danette, she's um, the lady who wants to come in March. I don't see her. She, oh, Danette Heim is coming in March? Yeah, she's the lady who is willing to help. 
Yeah, and okay. we'll see. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I, she's on our registration list, I'm pretty sure. And I, she should have an email from Zoom is what I told her, but I don't know if she's. Do, okay, if you want to keep going with uh, Margie, I can send her the link through oh, Messenger. No problem. Okay, so. All right, so this is this is uh, Jim's tree, and um, Margie. So Sebastiano Galizia was he married to Alfia Calabro? That is true. Yep. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go to his profile then, and I'm gonna save Jim's information into our tree. Save to tree. And we'll do Sebastiano. Okay, that's the 1976 guy. Correct. Save. And so he has the marriage date in addition to some information on the death of the father. And okay, so this is interesting. He and I have conflicting dates on um, the birth. So I'm going to make that an alternate so that we can look into that further. I have a October 17th, 1853. Does that match you? Yeah, you know, I have 11 October, 1858. Hmm. And Alfia, and the children were Giuseppe, who died in 1987. Yep. Uh, Louisa, we don't have a death date for her. Uh, she was in a she was in an Amato, but she was a Galizia, but then she married an Amato. Hang on, and we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, so these are his siblings. Tom. Mm -hmm. Salvatore. Was, yeah. And we already had a death date of 1964. Save to your tree. I believe that's probably from a cemetery record. Okay, uh, yeah. so, so now which child um, of Sebastiano and Alfia is your father. My father is Francesco, and he was the youngest. Um, okay. So we have Tom, Sam. My dad was born in 1928, I believe. April, April 2nd, 1928. Where was he born? He was born in Omaha. He was born in Omaha, Nebraska. One by the name Frank. Yes. And is he living or deceased? He passed away um, six uh, June. 7th of 2011. Is, uh, would you like his birthday too? Yes, please. Oh. Uh, 2 April. Two, there you go, sorry. Right, thank you. So as you can see, Margie, it's a team effort. Um, <laughs> we have little bits and pieces everywhere here, and we're pulling it all together. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, Francesco, Frank is your father. And so yes. I'm going to add you as his daughter. And what does it say on your birth certificate? Margaret, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T. And Margie is yes. your nickname? 
It is. Okay. So, so did Frank, did he marry Margaret Castro? He did. Okay. Because I just found, okay, because the one record I was looking at, uh, the first one that I had, Nick, yes. was I had his birth, but I had a separate record, which is a duplicate name, where I have the marriage to Margaret Castro. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at a couple trees that, that contain uh, Myers family tree. The owner is one Marine. I don't know if that means anything to you. And here's Margaret Alice Castro. Yep. And here's, here's a nice picture of your dad. Yeah, that is my dad. The Evans family tree. That would be my son. <laughs> well, we'll take him as an authoritative source on this subject. And I'm going to add his information into our tree. Okay, so he has the marriage info and Looks like everything pretty match, pretty well matches up with what we have. He's got a nickname for Althea as Fanny, which that is not unusual. <laughs> quite frequently. Let's see here. What else we got? Spouse, Margaret Alice Castro. That is right. And other children. He's got a place of death, which we'll grab onto there. Louise Marie. So you know, instead of Louisa, we have Louise Marie. I'll go with that. And death is new information. Hello, Gaetano Tom Joseph. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to see him under Tom and also under Gaetano, I guess. And then Salvatore is, or Sam is also Salvatore, which is, yeah. that's pretty common as well. Yes, that's, I know that's for sure. Okay, well, we've got good information here. I need to go back once this uh, loads. And there was a, there's a, I'm sorry, there's a Tony Galizia, he was, my dad was the youngest, but then Tony, there was Tony Galizia. Did, was, did he show and up here? Let me just fix this. Um, oh, why did it not pick up her maiden name? That's interesting. Oh, okay. No, that's you. Up above. So I need to edit. It was up above there, Dick. Relationships and add mother. And her name was Margaret. Yes, yeah, Margaret Ashley. Alice. Margaret Alice, okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so now. We view you in the tree. We're going to see your Gulitzias pretty well. Um, we might have a duplicate in here for Althea Fanny. So let me just see if that comes up. Nope, it doesn't. Interesting. So now. Well, that gives us at least a point of reference, and um, you know, we we could spend, of course, a lot more time and work on the Castros as well. But uh, I'm sure Jim has an interest in the Castros, right, Jim? I might. 
I think okay. those are a different group of Castros. Oh, okay. That uh, actually connect back to me to where they they married a Turco someplace along the line. That, that set of mm -hmm. Castros did. Oh, that'd be my relatives then. That is absolutely <laughs> correct. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting a uh, message from Danette saying that she did not get the registration link. So I'm going to see. I don't have her, I guess. So I Margie, do you, do you know her. Pep Castro and Pep and Louie? I did not, unfortunately. It might um, be up a little, a little bit in the tree. Let's see. Yeah. I would love to know my mom's um, history a little bit more. So I'm sure once I find out, I'll know more, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm uh... going to send this to Danette. <laughs> oh, she. I'm talking with her as well. She's with her, her telephone and she's trying to keep going. <laughs> okay, so where's she from? Omaha, I think. Yeah, she was with Sherry a couple of days ago. Nick, how did you get the little the little steamship and the IT icon on Althea? Oh, that's that so cute. It was, was apparently Margie's son put that there. <laughs> and uh, when I when I saved it on there, it uh, let's let's do a quick edit and see if that comes up. Perfect. It's in a suffix. Hmm. Oh, okay. you know how he got the image in there. We need your son on here, Margie. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I agree. I will see if new, he can. New um... generation one, all the generation zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As always. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah. I guess you can put little, little uh, yeah. emojis or images or something like that in the in the suffix field cool guess what i'm doing tonight <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a whole new look next week <laughs> oh yeah everybody with with its own boat margie have you heard of the antonati site website i have not nick you want to show her that so she can know where to search for her add on to her tree um, well, let's let's do this. Uh, Evans is your son, right? He is, yes. And, and let's just, let me just add those names to the tree. And uh, my brain fade. Alfia <laughs> Cal. Save to tree. Alfia Trailboro. There she is with the little steamship. Right, the second one down. <laughs> it's the second one down. Yeah. Okay, so your son says he thinks it's Gaetana and Antonio. He's got Mondolfo, but normally the way it would be spelled is Mandolfo. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the liberty of changing that. I wonder if she's related with Jen Mandolfo. Right. Mandolfo, hey. hola. Hola. Eh. Es mm -hmm. bañado, hola. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. Because um, it's one of Mandolfo, like Mondo. So, like, so who asked me to share the Portali Antonati? I, 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 Monica, I, I asked you to show Margie. Okay. So what I have a quick link that gets me into this thing called the Portali Antonati, but um, you need to tell your son about this site, or, okay. or 
you have him have him uh, send me a note. Uh, ancestorpuzzles at gmail.com or uh, Nick Chimino on Facebook. And um, if he just, I can if she just copies give him the cultural.gov.it, she'll get into it. Yeah. This is this is the we'll put this in the uh, chat log, which we'll see. Stop share. I can't get things into the chat log when I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so Tanati Kultura. It seems like a different URL, but maybe. Maybe so that one works too. Can um, I ask where Althea was born? Alfio was born, I believe, in Carlantini. December 2nd, 1893. Yeah, that's... Okay, so yeah. let's get into Nashita, or Nati, and year 1893. Well. Uh, there's two registers for that year. Well, Vede il registro. Let's see the register. Okay. And so this is the first page of the register. And then we can um, we can bring up the gallery. And then scroll, scroll, scroll. Well, the index is on the volume index. two. Uh, the index is in volume two. Yeah, well, if it's not at the bottom of this one. <clears throat> Let's try that. Wait for him to load. There is the index. No, oh, Laura, c'è beccato il momento in cui siamo tutti concentrati perché stanno facendo ricerca genealogica pura. <ride> ecco i geroglifici, siamo in mezzo ai registri. Sophia, the end of the G's that she was born in December. On the next page, you say, Jim? Yeah, well, yeah. those are all the C's, and it looks like mm -hmm. it's alphabetical. Okay. Well, go over well, to the next Castro last the column top. here. The geroglyphics, as I it's call chronological. them. <laughs> yeah, they're chronological. Ah, they're chronological by the by alphabet. But they're but they're still started alphabetically. Yes. Right. They, you know. If you go to the right side there, it should have like dates of birth. Right. Those are all the C's. You need to go in a couple more pages. What is her date of birth? December uh, somebody 3rd. Somebody tell me. December 3rd. December, one more page. That's a September. No, those are the C's. You got to get into the G still. She yeah. was the Calibro. Calibro. Oh, that's okay. true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But you still want to get to so the So you want to get into November, is. into Hang December, on. rather. Oh, wait. Is that no? There you go. Oh, there here it is. I was videoing it. Nothing happened. Gatano and Okay, so your son is correct. It is Gaetano and Antonio Mandolfo. This Mandolfo was an A. Right. So, um, so what we do is we take this little number here. Eighty-nine. Two up. This is weird because these these are eighty nine. Eighty nine. Numero de. Go to the right? go to the number. Go to the right. Eighty nine. That's not. It's over here. It's over here. Yeah. I think it's in the middle. Dean's call. right. Okay. Dean is right. Thank you. <laughs> so I lost her now. She was on the next to eighty nine. Oh. 
Up, up, up. 89. Okay, here she is. 89. Okay, so and it's Alfia and Gaetana. And She's the number on is December 2nd. 306. 306 is the number. So what I do is I make note of that number. And uh, Jim came up with this format for notation. Now I forgot the number. 306. Mm -hmm. Record 89. 306 306 And this is the signora Margi che si è collegata per la prima volta, quindi stiamo facendo delle ricerche per 1893. Okay. 1893. Okay. Okay. So save. Slow, 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 slow. That'll get there. Okay, so sorry, so sorry your changes weren't saved. Please try again. again. There okay. you go. Please successfully. Okay, so now we're going to record number 306. Which and should be, um, should be in that. Hopefully, it's in that same uh, group there. It should be. Just go back, uh, clear down to the bottom there, and a few up. Oh, ah, these guys, okay. Uh, keep going up, uh, several more. This is 324, so we need to go back. So there's yeah, 115, and there's three records to a page, so divide. 18 by three, go back to 109. Okay, 109. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 109, there she is, Alfia Calabro. And- um, She's born on the second of the current month. That is so cool. Yeah, usually when we find that those papers are interesting because there are even the addresses. So if you come back to Carlentin, you can go straight to the point. Let's see. It's on uh, uh, Carso. Carlentin? Via Carso. Via Carso. Carso. Via Carso. La via Carso, eh, la quale via Duca degli Abruzzi. Prima si chiamava. Numero senza, which means there's no number. Numero senza. Before they had the addresses. Oh, yeah. So, so Sil Silvana, who knows uh, all the um, city changes, let's say, she says uh, that uh, in this moment, uh, Via Corso doesn't exist anymore, but uh, nowadays it's called Via Duca degli Abruzzi. I can write it down on our chat. <laughs> Ah sì? Non lo sapevo. Via Duca degli Abruzzi e poi la casa secondaria. La via Duca degli Abruzzi anticamente era la via dei nobili. Ah, Però no, fatti... la, parte, la parte più alta, quella che c'era verso il convento, sai? Per questo uh -huh. la chiamavano via, la via Opus, perché poi ci facevano anche forse le cosse dei cavalli, insomma, una cosa o le cose forse il corso inteso come la che fino, delle fino a oggi per esempio la, la processione del venerdì santo sì? si fa in via Duca degli Abruzzi e la ex via Corso mm. perché Ma era la via tenga... dove, dove passava e poi mettevano in posto tutte le tovaglie tutte quelle cose she's saying that in the past was the street where nobility used to live mostly uh, above all, going closer to the main square. Closer we get to the main square, more beautiful were the buildings and the palaces. And still today, when there is the procession of the Holy Friday, the procession, rather than passing through the main streets that nowadays are called Via Roma and Via Cavour. Si passa Via Roma, però 
it goes via Roma, but then rather than via Cavour, that is quite bigger than via Duca degli Abruzzi, the procession goes through via Duca degli Abruzzi, that was the most important uh, street in the past, uh, at least uh, more important than uh, via Cavour. That are the two streets uh, that are the extremities uh, of the main square that is, a, that is actually a square. In effect, la via, la via typical... Duca degli Abruzzi, la via Duca degli Abruzzi sì. è la via che è dietro la, il comune. Il municipio, esatto. sì. Infatti c'è una casa. La via Duca degli Abruzzi is, uh, at the back, uh, goes uh, through the back side of the CDO. Ma più... uh, Silvana, questo qua c'è scritto no numero, che cosa potre, quale potrebbe essere? Questo, Alla fine... Senza, senza numero? Senza, is, um, without number is hard to because it's a quante traverse saranno una decina è lunga via Duca degli Abruzzi. Certo, prendete esattamente come via Roma. Yeah, it, it is one of the longest, uh, it's like 10 blocks more or less. Non so se tu hai visto quella casa che c'è di fronte al negozio di mio marito, quella casa antica. Sì, l'angolo. Quella sì. casa ha l'ingresso dalla via Buca degli Abruzzi, non dalla via Buca degli Abruzzi. Ah, quindi la c'è un cortile, c'è un cortile che è bellissimo, è piuttosto di Ok, meraviglioso. Per me la pietra, la... Peccato che quelle case... All'interno c'è un cortile bellissimo, oh. cioè, però spuntava, cioè l'ingresso principale era in via Buca degli Abruzzi. Silvana ci sa in that still today there is a, a house that um, is on sale, that is one of the corner corners of the main square and is a beautiful noble ancient house and the main entrance of that house was along the via duca degli abruzzi rather than being uh, on the square side that makes sense but um, this was a uh, an important one in the past what is can you uh, translate the duca degli Duca degli Abruzzi mi era un personaggio Duca... storico che è stato un conquistatore, un, 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 un esploratore. Era. You... Ok, so he was, a, he, used, he, he was a, an explorer, he used to explore, was a, a, a character like a pioneer, Duca degli Abruzzi. Actually, Even in Milan, there is one of the longest road, one once I remember to go from what, one, what, what uh, was was the was the part of the royal family of Italy, was the cousin of the is a branch of the Savoy family. So thank uh, you, um, thank you, Salvo. It, I didn't they know are it. related to the Savoy family. So it was um, it was oh, there was a dispute in 1943 after you know the collapse of the fascist state. So who has to be the oh. king? So whether it was the Duca degli Abruzzi family or the Savoy one. So anyway, in the past, as you said, there was an explorer, was a pilot. So there is a lot, so there's a lot of people, so a lot of in, like, in every, in every single set. city in Italy, there is a, there is, a yeah, Duca boulevard, a nice big road dedicated to him, Duca degli Abruzzi. Okay. And, and in, in Rome, in, in Milan, just to go from the beginning to the end, it takes one hour and a half. Because the hard <laughs> red lights. Uh, red... <laughs> sì, a, a Milano una volta ci siamo bottigliati nel traffico, ci ho messo un'ora e mezza solo per fare il viale Duca degli Abruzzi. Ho detto, vedi che a Carlindini si lamenta. Uh, as you can, you can see there, the, the guy actually, actually took part in the exploration of the K2. So he actually was, uh, uh, was, a, was a hero in, in Italy anyway, so... Mm -hmm. But I mean, but his siblings, I mean, they also, again, they were uh, related to obviously the royal family and they were considered to, to be one day kings, but that didn't ever happen, obviously. <laughs> Italy, became, Italy, Italy, Italy became a republic. E qui c'è scritto che ha creato il villaggio Duca degli Abruzzi in Somalia. Ah, beh, certo, sì. Addirittura. I live, okay. So um, we got a little bit of information on the Alfia Calibro, uh, and we'll probably continue to work on that at a later date. I think that the first time when you find something is so emotional, we can understand the, 
<laughs> went like, Brr. Absolutely. Isn't it? I had a couple of years when I saw my dad. It's emocionante. Yeah, it is. So Absolutely. What I should do is probably um, give you that link from the Portali. Do you know how to copy the link if I put it in the chat log, Margie? Sure. I could find, yeah. It should take you to the image if you want to right. uh, share that with your son. Okay, dokie. Thank you. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should probably put it on the on her page as well. You can actually uh, one of the things you can do is you can add a web link, and uh, where where'd it go? There it is. There. And uh, uh, the web address and Margie, there are guides out there to help you go through the text that's in Italian uh, to uh, translate the and extract out the important information there. So this is this is a good way to add that documentation for the three to six. So to see if it actually takes us to the image. Well, it takes us to the no, it takes us directly to the image now. It used to only take you to the register, so. They're That's making awesome. some improvements. Absolutely. Nice. I made it. The next, the next. here you go. Yay. Brava. <laughs> Hi. Yay. <laughs> I finally made it. Un personaggio. <laughs> I thought you were already registered, Danette. I apologize. Uh, no, it's, I'm sure it's me, so don't worry about it. I'll get it figured out before what next a character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm here. Yay! Nice to see everybody. I was talking I about you. I was talking about you at the beginning of the Zoom meeting, saying that you're you're coming in Carlentini. You're spending a month, and the scene that this is the genealogical group. I was asking them what what are our priorities if we need uh, something uh, according to the state of our researches. Okay. There are people working on registers, uh, others on uh, the pictures uh, of the cemetery. So it's a we are quite a miles. Uh, um, miles uh, ahead compared uh, to two years ago. Okay, good. We've done a lot I, of steps. I'm so excited. The passi, the progress respect to two years ago. Okay, what do you need from me? Anything, anything I can contribute? First of all, we need to find a roof for you. <laughs> but I haven't asked that. <laughs> this is another group. <laughs> another uh, find a roof for me. <laughs> yeah, a me good, a, I just need a, a tent. Good place. A good place. I'll sleep in a tent. I don't care. No, 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 my dear. No, no. <laughs> Silvana, ma tu il, il BNB ce l'hai attivo? O c'è sua tua figlia? No, vero? No, no, ormai no. Ci abita, ci abita Eri ormai. Ok, abbiamo bisogno di trovare una sistemazione per Danet per un mese. Vediamo se col passaparola la trovo, qualcuno. la trovo perché c'è. Sì, sì, la conosco. Ti posso aiutare facilmente. Tu dimmi Casa vacanza. Venire. Sì. No, è una mia amica che ha una casa, sì, diciamo. Anche meglio. So, ok, Silvana, ok, Silvana she had a B&B, but her daughter decided to move. 
to move in. So she lost <laughs> her business. <laughs> <laughs> daughters uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's where I wanted to stay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she said mama forget it I'm gonna take it uh I love Erica um, I don't know her at all yeah she she was one uh she's one of our teachers of Italian uh to kids she teaches yeah. Italian to kids and Silvana has a friend so I knew that uh, talking with her we found a solution we have yeah. time who, to who can, that who out. Can, yeah, we have time. This we have time. Can I share? Uh, um, uh, I just got down. a message from uh, Sherry, and she would like Danette to introduce herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey. hi. Um, I know I've been on one Zoom meeting before. It's been a while. Um, my name is Danette Heim. Uh, that's my married name. My main name is in Contro. Okay, um, lei, lei già è stata uno Zoom meeting, però forse tanto tempo fa, il suo nome di famiglia legato a, a quello che danno è in Contro. Um, in Contro? Mm -hmm. I, I am... Io lo so in Contro. Italian, so I, both my ancestors are all Italian, so... Io sono uh, totalmente italiana, perché tutti i miei antenati erano... And a sissy and the other side, I'm, I'm not sure the other part, um, at Val Castro, and Castro? the other Locastro. side, my mama's side, Locastro. Is Locastro. 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 and Calabro, and Monaco, that's the other side. Todoro, Todoro, Calabro, Monaco. She said Castro or Locastro? Uh, Castro? Lo Castro or Castro? Oh, it's it's Bel Castro. That's another one. Okay. Bel Castro. Bel Castro. I, I didn't that. hear it. Okay. Right. Bel Castro. Ah, Bel Castro. Okay. Rose, Rose so, that is my grand. That's my nana. Okay. I've never, I've never heard this. Uh, this is Bel Castro. Infatti, non è delle nostre parti. Milone. 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 Dovrebbe essere con la E. Giusto Milone? Ma no, poi sì, sarà mi con la I. Beh, sai, anche con la I. La I. Eh, sì, la I. Sì, la I. La loro la leggono, la leggono così. La eh, sì. So we were wondering, yes. Milone should be with the Milone. E. Monica, are you talking? No. Lucia, oh, no, no, my mother. I thought you were saying something. Eh, yeah, sì, that's my mother. Lucia, che si chiama Todaro? E che si chiama Todaro con la E? Luisa e con la E. Ma, ma oggi ci sono to Todaro con la E? Uh, ma, no, 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 sì, no. sì, no. Alfio, Alfio Todaro, quello che hai il computer, si chiama con la E. Con la E? Ah no, con il caso. Io sempre con la E. Ma anche no, no. Se lo cerchi, che perché lui sa, in internet ha il... I don't know, Francesco. Si chiama Todaro. Sarà stato un errore. Se there is any mondo. connection with the Joseph G. Todoro. Agatha can be seen. Question. Mm. Um, how, how do you say great? All right, so, non no. How mm -hmm. do you say great? Zonia. Bis. Zonia? Bis nonno. Bis nonno. Okay. Bis nonno is in Italian, but in Sicilian dialect, we say nonna vava. <laughs> Nonna Baba? Nonna Baba? Nonna Baba? Nonna Baba? Hmm. This is so, so old. So, okay, before we get too far off track, I need to ask uh, Danette. Yes. Why do you feel the need to go to Carlantini? You know, I went to, it's always been... I've never claimed to have a bucket list, but if I had to use that terminology, Italy is the only place I've ever wanted to visit. And when I went back in 2018, I felt like I was home. And if I felt that way in Rome, I felt <laughs> that I needed to further explore my origins. Can I translate you? Can I translate? Please. Yeah. yeah. Allora, Nick, Nick ha chiesto 
ma qual è il motivo per cui tu stai andando a Carlentini? E lei ha detto, per tutta la mia vita ho desiderato visitare l'Italia e ci sono stata nel 2018 e sono stata a Roma e mi sono sentita così a casa che ho pensato, se mi sento a casa qui, immaginiamoci se andassi oltre più a fondo le mie radici. E quindi lì ha deciso di tornare, in quel momento ha deciso di tornare. Ma io volevo chiedere a Danette... Silvana, eh, penso che l'incontro sì. Incontro, sì, è un cognome lentinese, non per me. Mm. Um, yeah, Silvana e Salvo as well, they agree that maybe incontro is a, a name from Lentini rather than Carlentini. Uh, that is, is very close. I, I mean, Lentini and Carlentini are attached one but one um, into the other i mean see juicy can you explain the relationship yeah, between, between just one uh, one into the other they're not just uh, close they're just they're, they're really so interconnected and families are yeah. interconnected so you're painting a rosy pictures because the relationship has never been that very that good between carlentini and lentini <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, there was a huge rivalry between the two, the two towns. Question. Yeah, <laughs> that's so something. My, my nana Rose Belcastro. So, from what I remember, um, conversations like when I married my husband. And this in fact, it was another link. I can't. When lei ha sposato suo marito, we follow you. They explained that he was a, um, oh, how can I say it? So sorry for anybody that doesn't get this, but um, uh, like an Italian and um, an interracial kind of a thing. So back in the day, like Carlantini and- Yeah, Lillian that's exactly what we were saying, yes. Did, yeah. not, did not intermix, not is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yes. I didn't get it. What, what is she saying, ha, Salvo? Ha detto praticamente che quando lui ha sposato suo marito gli hanno, gli, gli hanno fatto notare che appunto sposare uno, uno di Carlentino o di Lentini è come se fosse un matrimonio interrazziale. L'anima. L'anima. <laughs> that's what I was saying there. Oh, the, 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 <laughs> this, uh, this history there am between Carlentino and Lentini. Right? Can, can yeah, I, well, can I, I, I agree with you. Yes, I'm from Canada. No, it's like uh, someone, it's from Norway, someone from Norway, someone from Norway getting married with something, so, someone from Nigeria is the same. Yeah. <laughs> can I say something? My father was yeah. from that was the old school thinking for sure. Um, and I'm, it's been so long since I've spoken any Italian with them, but it's um. What is the name for Siliani? Uh, um, like, oh, sorry again, don't mean to offend anybody, but- No, uh, no, don't uh, worry. We overcame those uh, difficulties, <laughs> they say. Um, a, white, a, a white person, Thelia, um Sicilian in the uh, United States were considered brownish. So even if we're blonde with blue eyes, uh, we... Okay, because we, of the olive, the olive tone of the skin. So the olive, yeah, the olive... The olive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's considered well, no, brownish. There, there, there is also another reason. Is the people, a lot of people immigrated, they were farmers. Mm -hmm. They were working under the sun. So they were, the color of the skin <laughs> was quite brown. They were burned from the sky. Burned by the sun, exactly. Yeah, the sun. Right. So they were giving my husband at the time a hard time that he was an Italian <laughs> and I was marrying a non-Italian boy and this whole big conversation happened and it was just, that's the conversation I remember. Back in the day, those two regions did not... Um, we're not allowed well, to. Well, but, but he made the good deal marrying the one who was able to cook with the Italian origins. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Eh, già, lui però ha fatto l'affare perché tutti i discorsi erano che lui non era uh, italiano, però ha fatto l'affare sposando l'italo siciliana, diciamo, che tra l'altro sa anche cucinare. Um, interesting. 
Uh, so, so yeah, Lentini and Carlentini are so connected that uh, there is the main road uh, in Lentini called the Vietnea, where on the right is Lentini, on the left is Carlentini. And I have friends having a nice apartment along this street uh, with the bathroom in Carlentini and the living room in Lentini. So they pay taxes in both the cities. Exactly. So they have the right to vote in both the cities. That, that's why we, we say that they are, they, they are so interconnected, even my family. Uh, from my mother's side, they are all from Carlentini. And she married my my father who was from Lentini, and so I mean it's very. Well, very there is fun. a legend that, that says that the Lentinesi man used to climb, but to go to get the best ones on the top of the hill in <laughs> Carlentini. So oh, the story of your family confirms the fresh changes. air. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, get, I just want to explore the whole region. I just I just want to see it. So yeah. Dicevo che Giuseppe ha detto che la mia famiglia, um, da una parte di mio papà sono tutti lentinesi, da parte di mia mamma carlentinesi, dicevo beh c'è una leggenda che dice che i carlentinesi, eh, i lentinesi si arrampicavano fin sopra il cucuzzolo della collina per andare a scegliere la più bella ragazza che andavano a trovare a Carlentini, perché l'aria è fina a <ride> Carlentini. Ma anche mio suocero era di Lentini, ad esempio. You see, Silvana, she's confirming her father-in-law was from Lentini and he married someone from Lentini. He climbed. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the top of the hill, there was a prize. To the there, there you go, top of the hill. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Mamma mia. What point you know, is your husband's family know? from southeastern Nebraska? Say what? Is your husband's family from southeastern Nebraska? Um, actually, uh, Kansas City is where they're. Oh. Like little towns in Kansas. Is where they're from. You ever heard of oh. Dillard, Nebraska? Hey, which ancestral difference? I'm sorry, <laughs> she's saying. So now, will <laughs> I will I meet her when I'm there? Eleanor, will I meet her when I'm there? Um, Sherry, you mean Sherry? No, the lady you were just talking to. Ah, uh, Silvana? Yeah. Oh yeah, she, she's in Carlentini, of course. I will give you her telephone number if Silvana... Lo posso dare il tuo numero di telefono? Sì, sì, certo. Sì, you will, you will be in contact. Okay. Io però non so parlare inglese. She, <laughs> she doesn't no, no. speak English, <laughs> but I will help. We'll in Carlentini, we can have a coffee together. Yes, yes. Ciao, Nina. You guys are beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so just let us know. <laughs> oh, Marge, I'm sorry. I always exchange. <laughs> Um, did you see the note oh, from uh, Kim? I, I just saw did, that. Kim and Francis. Fifth um, and William, 509 William Street oh. is where we grew up. 509, is that what you said? Yeah, 509. I had my aunt and uncle next door. All the whole street was our family. Nick, why did you take out your hat? But I, I noticed right away, it's so fancy, so Sicilian. Oh, yeah, fancy. real Sicilian man. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Where's, where's Nick G? He had his on earlier. Put yours on, Nick. <laughs> Nick G? <laughs> Leave the guns. Your hat, the man. I your lost hat. it. I lost it to the girls. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. 
lost forever. <laughs> and Renata, Sherry is sí. asking about the people, uh, the origin of uh, people from Lentini and Carlentini. Lentini first, it, it was founded by, by the Greeks, mm -hmm. while uh, Carlentini came definitely later. It's very, let's say, young. <laughs> yeah, 1532, uh, if I'm not wrong. Anyway, early early uh, 15th, 16th century, while uh, Lentini is 27th uh, century, so history. However, in common in the territory of Lentini and Carlentini, as everything else, we have the uh, historic, historical area, the archaeological area that belongs to both. So when we talk about Carlentini city center, Obviously, we refer to the Spanish foundation of the King Charles V, but um, in the same territory, there were the Greeks, there was the Agora, and the, nowadays, when you will come to um, Carlentini, if you wanted to visit the archaeological area, the main entrance is through Carlentini. There is even an entrance through Lentini as well, so they have in common this important uh, archaeological area as well. So Sherry yeah. sent me this picture, so I thought I better share it with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so lovely. Mackenzie. Oh, yeah. The future. Mickey. Yes. Mackenzie. Beautiful. So yeah. <laughs> Aww. Future visitor to Carlantini. Nika, I'm talking about the foundation of the city. I sent to you some abstract of the book that is a super interesting that Mary Kay gave me as gift. Um, How did you send it? Uh, through Messenger. I, I haven't shared the whole chapter because it's too long, but um, I selected the most interesting part connected to uh, the arrival of the Carlentinesi, the important families, and um, Santa Lucia as well. So the interesting part is the first page at the really end, as you can see, it says, those from Sicily were overwhelmingly from Carlentini. Page 199. And then page 200. Go back back again okay the following one this is the first no you're going back in the future <laughs> Italian the woman, huh? the book. oh yeah looks like they're in order and then um and, uh, what's going on here and uh, then uh, looks like you missed sending me page 200 <laughs> by jeremy yeah jeremy those who are not familiar, Joseph Salerno arrived in the 1895, and two years later, Sebastian arrived in 1897. And here we have a lot of people related to the Salernos. Um, Kim, uh, Gary, who left, uh, Sue at this point, because if uh, Susan, if you're related with... Uh, right. Uh, with the Milena and the Pina Salerno, you're related with Kim right. as well. And then, um, what else? Uh, it mentions some family uh, as well. The family Rotella um, for the bread. Yes, um, yes. And then the sons and daughters of the Italian immigrants are permanently affected at the Omaha cuisine, presenting the public with the Treat few cities enjoyed through Italian steakhouse. Um, and then talks about Santa Lucia as well. I can, I can send to you some, uh, uh, some uh, pictures of that. Um, it says that um, in the 1924, each year on a Friday it, at the beginning of July, members of the Santa Lucia Festival Committee and members of Italian lodge clubs and societies formed a procession preceded by American and Italian flags and a banner bearing a picture of the sand. Starting at the Santa Filomena Cathedral, 
They moved north on 10th Street to Pierce and east on Pierce to 6th Street, where the banner was placed up on a triumphal arch that is uh, still there. Yeah. Thank you, Mary Kay. Oh, yes. My goodness. Yeah. No, so I'm, no, we're... I'm going to drop the hammer here, folks, but I just want to say one thing before we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is this. Mi e davvero piaciuta la nostra conversazione di oggi. I migliori auguri fino al prossima settimana. Ciao, Enrica. Italian lesson included. <laughs> Ciao, Laura. Un abbraccio. Va Ciao. bene. Okay, Ciao. see you guys. <laughs> Grazie a tutti. Cheers, bye-bye. Big bye. hug. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Alla prossima.